Hey there, Sebbies. I know it's been a long time since I've been on here, but the reason is I've been sick. This is a follow-up to my pneumonia story. Um, back in October, I was in the hospital for pneumonia. And I came home and got a little treatment at home with the IVs and the nurses and the physical therapy and all that stuff. But um, shortly after that, I still wasn't feeling well. I have um, asthma, bronchitis, so that makes it even more difficult. So... Shortly after that, I ended up catching a cold. I thought it was the flu, but I caught a cold. And even before that, I would be coughing up a lot of, I don't get graphic mucus. And um, I coughed so much that I thought I had cracked my ribs. It got so painful just to cough. Hey, say hi. I mean, it just completely hurts all around my chest area. So I went to the emergency room and they did the x-ray. I didn't crack anything. And um, came home, they gave me some pain medication and I did the breathing treatments and all the things that they wanted me to do. And um, I can get, must get so out of breath so easily. Anyway, I did all that. But the coughing, the violent coughing, I don't know. It started with a, a tickling, like a dryness in my throat, which would force me to cough. And um, I would cough, and it happened so much that it just hurt. It hurts to cough. And, you know, when you have the cold and you have to get all that stuff up out of you, it got to the point where I had to put on a... Um, a back brace harness, not a harness, but a corset, duh, and um, hold on, somebody's coming in the door, anyway, I had to put on a corset and pull it real tight just to hold everything in tight just so I could cough, you talk about pain. Oh my God, I'm sitting here now in pain and that's because I'm on pain medication. I've done anti-inflammatories, Tylenol codeine, um, there's something called a Teslon pearls prednisone, name it, I've had it. And uh, right now I'm just in this chair trying to relax. I had to go in this morning and have an x-ray done just to verify again that I don't have pneumonia again and um, that I haven't bruised any, cracked anything, but turns out I just bruised my muscles. Hi, buddy. Yeah, say, say hi. Yeah, I bruised my muscles. So I have not been able to do anything with my hair. This is all I can do is just put in a ponytail and braid it up so there has not been any hair videos in a while because when you're sick and have a cold, the last thing you want to do is wash your hair. Now, my hair is dirty. Now get ready for it. Look at this. I know I look like a hot mess, but this is it. Normally I would touch up my gray or wear a wash and go, twist out, but um, like I said, I have not been able to uh, do anything. So, and um, yeah, so I'm just laying around the house chilling, watching TV, just trying to relax. I have to sleep in the upright position at night. And um, it's difficult to sleep because once that tickling comes, I have to cough. I have to try to hold everything in it tight. I have that um, corset on tight and just brace for my brace and just let it go. And then I just try to moan and sometimes cry because that's how bad it hurts. So I'm going to attempt 
to try to do my hair before Christmas. And I might film it, I might not. I need to color it, deep condition it, and all that. And I'll probably go ahead and flat iron it again because I don't think at this point I want to mess around with the wash and goes because that is too much manipulation, you know, every three or four days, a week, whatever. It's too much washing. And it's winter time now. And with me being sick off and on like this, it might not be a good idea. It's been about three weeks since I've washed my hair. I took a chance one day and went for it and hurried up and put, hit it with the blow dryer so I can get my scalp dried real quick. But one thing I haven't been able to do is deep condition. I didn't want to leave my hair wet too long. So I just wanted to let you all know that Curly P. Dub hasn't quit YouTube yet. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I'll be coming back once I get back to feeling like a normal human being again. I'll be going back to doing my videos on this channel and doing possibly some DIY part. Look at this. It's my spoiled fur baby. Look at him. Yeah, my DIY projects on my peed up stuff channel. And, uh, yeah. And I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And a happy new year and you take care and everybody take care yucky yep all right now see you guys later bye on the first day of christmas my